Chapter fifteen of My Life The Story of a Provincial by Anton Chekhov. Translated by Constance Garnett, eighteen sixty one to nineteen forty six. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Expatriate in Bangor, Maine. Chapter fifteen masha and i drove to kurilovka to the dedication of the school autumn 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 said masha softly looking away summer is over there are no birds and nothing is green but the willows yes summer was over there were fine warm days but it was fresh in the morning and the shepherds went out in their sheepskins already and in our garden the dew did not dry off the asters all day long there were plaintive sounds all the time and one could not make out whether they came from the shutters creaking on their rusty hinges or from the flying cranes and one's heart felt light and one was eager for life the summer is over said masha now you and i can balance our accounts we have done a lot of work a lot of thinking we are the better for it all honour and glory to us we have succeeded in self-improvement but have our successes had any perceptible influence on the life around us have they brought any benefit to any one whatever no ignorance physical uncleanliness drunkenness an appallingly high infant mortality everything remains as it was and no one is the better for your having ploughed and sown and my having wasted money and read books obviously we have been working only for ourselves and have had advanced ideas only for ourselves such reasonings perplexed me and i did not know what to think we have been sincere from beginning to end said i and if any one is sincere he is right who disputes it we were right but we haven't succeeded in properly accomplishing what we were right in to begin with our external methods themselves aren't they mistaken you want to be of use to men but by the very fact of your buying an estate from the very start you cut yourself off from any possibility of doing anything useful for them then if you work dress eat like a peasant you sanctify as it were by your authority their heavy clumsy dress their horrible huts their stupid beards on the other hand if we suppose that you work for long long years your whole life that in the end some practical results are obtained yet what are they your results what can they do against such elemental forces as wholesale ignorance hunger cold degeneration a drop in the ocean other methods of struggle are needed strong bold rapid if one really wants to be of use one must get out of the narrow circle of ordinary social work and try to act direct upon the mass what is wanted first of all is a loud energetic propaganda why is it that art music for instance is so living so popular and in reality so powerful because the musician or the singer affects thousands at once precious precious art she went on looking dreamily at the sky art gives us wings and carries us far far away any one who is sick of filth of petty mercenary interests any one who is revolted wounded and indignant can find peace and satisfaction only in the beautiful when we drove into kurilovka the weather was bright and joyous somewhere they were threshing there was a smell of rye straw a mountain ash was bright red behind the hurdle fences and all the trees wherever one looked were ruddy or golden they were ringing the bells they were carrying the icons to school and we could hear them sing holy mother our defender and how limpid the air was and how high the doves were flying the service was being held in the classroom then the peasants of kurilovka brought masha the icon and the peasants of dubechnia offered her a big loaf and a gilt salt cellar and masha broke into sobs if anything has been said that shouldn't have been or anything done not to your liking forgive us said an old man and he bowed down to her and to me as we drove home masha kept looking round at the school the green roof which i had painted and which was glistening in the sun remained in sight for a long while and i felt that the look masha turned upon it now was one of farewell end of chapter fifteen recording by expatriate in bangor maine